sport is just one of the many things that we offer. Uh, what we really offer is this amazing sisterhood. Hi, I'm Brian Fetzer. I am here on the first ever Sisters in Sweat podcast. You are in for a treat. What we're going to do is give you a little bit of background and give you a little insight on this movement that is coming across India. And I can tell you right now, it's going to be sweeping across the world real soon. First off, the founders, the women behind Sisters in Sweat, I want you to take a few seconds and just tell everybody who you are. And we'll get into the, the nuts and bolts of Sisters in Sweat afterwards, but they want to know who you are. Like, who started this whole thing? Great. Um, my name is Shweta Subaya, and I'm a fitness instructor from Bangalore, India. Um, I grew up playing a lot of hockey in school, uh, and I've always been passionate about sport. Um, lost my way uh, and moved away from sport like every good Indian uh, child would through university and college where academics sort of took, um, I think, uh, precedence. Uh, and finally found my way back into sport through um, fitness instruction. I decided to become a fitness instructor uh, after university and college and surviving two years of a corporate job. And uh, had the good fortune to meet uh, my co-founder here, Tanvi Hans, who will introduce herself in a minute. But together, we co-founded uh, Sisters in Sweat, which we'll talk about a little bit more. Yeah, and um, I'm the other co-founder, Tanvi Hans. Um, I'm actually from Delhi, uh, and I'm a footballer. And uh, my football journey actually started in Delhi when I was about eight, nine years old. I started playing with the boys. And to be very honest, even today, I prefer to play with the boys. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's been uh, it's been about 20 plus years that I've been playing the sport um, and have played at various levels in India, have also had the good fortune of, of playing England for a couple of big clubs um, in London. Um, and the hope was that, you know, with the exposure that I had in England, um, you know, with the football, I wanted to bring back um, any kind of education and growth that I had as a footballer and make a difference here in India. Uh, little did I know that when I came back in 2016, I would bump into, uh, you know, my very close friend Shweta here. Um, and yeah, and then one day we just get this uh, lovely opportunity to start a movement together. Uh, which we're very proud of and which we will speak about further. Well, okay. Now, now you, you teed it up. <laughs> what is the whole concept of Sisters in Sweat? Well, to be very honest, the concept has evolved over time. When we first started Sisters in Sweat, we did it um, just as a one-off fun thing that we could do with our friends, which is really to catch up and uh, play sport. Uh, like, um, I, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but... Tanvi and I have always felt like anomalies growing up uh, where we were the girls that wanted to play well uh, and, you know, all the other girls didn't want to play. And so we assumed that was the way <laughs> things were, you know, with it, we were anomalies. Uh, and when we did decide to do that first session of Sisters in Sweat, again, like it wasn't an organized thing with a plan in mind, which is let's catch up with a bunch of girls who are interested in playing sport. Uh, and Tanvi obviously being the professional footballer was able to teach uh, some of our friends some basic technical aspects of football and me having the fitness instruction background plan the warm up and cool down. So that's kind of how things got started with just this one session that we thought we'd do with our friends um, uh, on a weekend. And what ended up happening then is that uh, the girls that came in, our friends really, to play that one Sunday uh, football session with us enjoyed themselves so much and had such a great time that they asked us to do it every weekend. So that's kind of how it started. And it then evolved into uh, something much bigger than we could have ever imagined. Uh, because uh, I think we started seeing that we are actually not the anomaly. We were just girls that were passionate enough to and privileged enough really to follow through with our passion. Um, and whereas the, the girls that were joining us did not have um, either the opportunity or sort of got, you know, sidetracked with other responsibilities in, in their lives or other paths. And we're only too happy to get back into sport. Yeah. I think. So, so who is, who is this open to? Like who is, you know, who is somebody that would, Hey, 
I, I want to be involved. Is there an age range? Is there a fitness, you know, level? I mean, who can take part? Not really. So we have, we're, we're sort of proud of the fact that we're very inclusive. Um, we have girls as young as 12, 13 years old who've come for our sessions and gone, it's gone up all the way to some grandmothers as well who are 55, 56 years old. Um, and, uh, you know, the fitness levels um, is something we keep in mind because we see the idea of what we do is we want to reduce the barriers to entry for women in sport at any level. You know, you could you could be someone who's never kicked a football before, but we've designed a session exactly for you, you know, so uh, for you to have fun, for you to walk away, um, you know, with uh, maybe feeling a little bit uh, fitter, feeling like you can get better at the sport, uh, making friends in the process. And then we have gradually got uh, women who come regularly, who see themselves getting better. And then we started to cater to women um at an intermediate level as well and the hope is that you know um, as more and more women get into sport um, we'd be able to cater to the different levels and the different uh, you know skill sets and everything accordingly but right now it's just that we want to give that access to women uh, to play sport at a recreation level um, and maybe even meet their fitness and personal goals in the process right. and the long and short <laughs> of it is any woman who has the desire to play sport uh, our goal is to provide them the opportunity to do so. The intention of Sisters in Sweat is also to cater to every type of woman. So not every woman is looking to play sport. Some of them just want to make friends in a new city. Um, so we do offer a lot of non-sport based activities and events um, such as karaoke night, pizza making evenings. Um, and We've also done a couple of off-site trips, um, you know, um, a dive dive trip for example we've done a trek of course that involves physical activity but i think the whole, whole idea behind sisters in sweat of course one is to make sport accessible recreationally to women across the country but also to create a sisterhood because we know how strong that can be um yeah. in 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 every facet of your life if you have a strong strong group of women backing you that gives you enormous um uh, it makes sort of, you feel empowered. Yeah, makes you feel very empowered and, uh, you know, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Like you belong. Yeah, you feeling of belonging and just more confident in, the cho in your choices going forward. Um, and I think uh, without intentionally ever meaning to start any of this to achieve those ends, Sisters in Sweat has over and over again proved to us that sport is just one of the many things that we offer. Uh, what we really offer is this amazing sisterhood um, yeah. that sort of has your back th through various, uh, you know, stages, uh, stages of life, yeah. various, um, yeah, various challenges, various, all the goods, the bads, everything that you have this huge, gr ever growing family of female family um, across the country and hopefully across the world someday. Yeah. Where, where can they do this? I mean, I know you're in Delhi and in Bangalore, like, is there other parts of India or is that, you know, future expansion? What, what is, where, where can they participate in this situation? Right now we're physically present in Bangalore and Mumbai. We started in Bangalore and both Tanvi and I are based out of Bangalore, but we've also uh, launched sessions um, in Mumbai. We, we launched that in May of last year. Uh, the plan and the dream, obviously, is to be present Pan India, and the big dream, of course, is to be a global to go presence. international. Yeah, yeah. Amen to that. Absolutely. <laughs> Amen to that. It's definitely something that it could be an inspiration uh, across the globe, and you know, conquering uh, one one country at a time. And India is certainly a country of of uh, great population. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So hey, why not start at the top? I like right. that style. <laughs> Absolutely. That's right. What, over, over the next, uh, you know, time period, this podcast is going to grow and going to kind of transform. What do you, what do people have to look forward to, you know, on the podcast in the future for you? So we really want this podcast to be an opportunity for women to sort of learn um, of the different journeys that uh 
women in sport, in business have taken to be sort of successful, get to know them a little bit more personally. I think what we have really, or at least I can speak for Tanvi and me here, what we lacked when we were sort of setting off on our professional paths, at least, was mentorship, right? We didn't have those women to look up to and say, hey, I want to be like her, or that's a path I would like to follow. We're hoping with the the range of uh, women that we get to interview, have the privilege to interview and talk to, uh, that the uh, you know people listening in will have something to take away from that, to fuel their own journey, to get more confidence, to get more answers, and just someone to look up to and... Uh, you know, help them through their journey because that's something we felt that we definitely missed out on to a large extent. And it would be great for us to fill that gap as well while we're doing uh, everything else that we're doing. Well, that, that sounds amazing. I am excited. Uh, I'm, I'm very fortunate to be part of this first one and so excited to see the journey going forward. Thank you both for, uh, for giving the intro and telling everybody what's in store for Sisters in Sweat in the podcast. Amazing. Thank you Stay so tuned. Much, there's gonna be more. There's gonna be more to come. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Have a great one. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.